in John chapter 21, we see King Jesus after the resurrection, after he has uh, died and he has rose again. And we see King Jesus in a provisional power. The disciples is attempting from John chapter uh, 21, verse 1 through 13 and on. We see them attempting to get some food, which was fish. They was trying to get some provision. And King Jesus took them and told them, go and throw out your net one more time. And when King Jesus did it, the word said that they came out with a multitude of fishes. Now, saints, this is still equivalent to a multitude of money, a multitude of provision, a multitude of substance. This is equivalent to a multitude of harvests. Saints, I want to pitch something to you that you probably never looked at. In John chapter 21, it was a harvest because remember these same disciples were sowing into Jesus. All throughout their discipleship, he had taught them how to sow. When he was talking and said, given it shall be given unto them, he was teaching them how to sow. So when we see scriptures of the multitude of fishes, the multitude of the loaves, it's all a resort of sowing. Satan never wanted a child of God to get a picture of God's provisional person, his provisional presence, his responsive nature, that he's not the God of take, take. He's the God of supply, release, increase, multiply. Satan, the thief, never wanted a child of God to get a revelation of God's desire for them to have more. That being rich is not a personal greed, according to the flesh, but being rich is actually receptivity of the image of God. Being wealthy is when you understand his heart. See, these disciples was in a place where they needed provision. But here comes Jesus in their midst and he multiplies. He increases. And he shows up to them as a provisional God. Saints in John 21 said that the, the net wasn't broken. He carried all these multitude of fishes. What's mighty is that if we look at how they went from one place of trying to find this provision to now King Jesus locating the provision for them. See, that's where it takes humility and meekness. Remember what King Jesus said in the Beatitudes, bless out the meek for they shall inherit the earth. I think that's Matthew chapter five. But look at how you inherit the earth through the law of meekness, which means teachability. And that go back to Isaiah 48, 17, where Isaiah the prophet revealed the secret. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee how to profit. So the teachability is a part of multimillionaire status. See, if the Lord could teach you anything, you qualify for wealth. See, a lot of times God can't teach people stuff. They want to, to claim as if they know everything, that there's nothing that God could reveal to them, show them. God can't tell you about people. God can't tell you about places. God can't tell you about things. And when you got that know-it-all spirit, you stop money coming. See, I want you to see that even if God is correcting you, teaching you, training you, giving you discernment, all of these things is a part of his teaching department. If you look at the disciples, they the, the reason why even they was able to come into their rich, their rich place, their wealthy place, remember they asked Jesus, teach us how to pray. Look, the desire to be taught 
Is meekness at work? Is meekness demonstrated? And remember, it's the meek that inherits the earth. That means that it is the meek that God gives them the power to enjoy everything that he created. So never despise God teaching you. And don't despise him reteaching you. Because a lot of times when God starts reteaching you, you know what you say? Your flesh say, I already know this. But if you already know it, you will be a perfectionist and you will be receptive and you will uh, capitalize on the moment to show forth the good works of Christ in that moment. So John chapter 21, we see the harvest, Holy Ghost. Who can write me down the line? Harvest, Holy Ghost. We see the harvest, Holy Ghost, not the Holy Ghost of sowing, the Holy Ghost of harvesting. If you don't know the harvest, Holy Ghost, you're going to become a reject of kingdom power. You hear what I'm saying? If you don't know, if you don't understand or comprehend harvest, Holy Ghost, the harvest Holy Ghost. The harvest Holy Ghost is not going to let you be ashamed in this life and let the world have greater results than you when you're listening to him. Saints, seed sowing is the voice of the Holy Ghost telling you and training you and teaching you how to truly treat God. See, it is the voice of the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost down here on earth talking to you and telling you how to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. It's the Holy Ghost on earth giving you ideas in your soul. Remember, Apostle Paul said that you purpose in your heart to give. Well, well guess what Apostle Paul did? Apostle Paul was training the people how to discern the voice of the Holy Ghost in their consciousness giving them ideas of what to sow. The, what, what he was revealing to them, this not your idle thinking, this not your flesh. The Holy Ghost got a department in his conversation where he give you dreams about what to sow. So saints, when I tell you my story where I said, I pray, Lord, give me a thousand dollar seed to sow. What I did was entertain that department of the Holy Ghost where he teaches. And so that's meekness at work. So when I'm in the department of meekness, inheritance is attached to that meekness. It's impossible for you not to come out rich. It's impossible for you not to come out wealthy. It's impossible for you not to have abundance because in that department, God already got angels of riches in that department. The angels of wealth is in that department, teachability. The angels of prosperity, abundance is in that department. You cannot step into the hundredfold, the thousandfold without a prophet of God. If you remember Deuteronomy chapter one, verse 11, we see Moses is dominating Deuteronomy. So when we look at that text, it said that I'll give you a thousand times more. The thousand times more, that promise is right there in the dispensation of Moses. Wow. Saints, you got to understand. What was Moses' real? Is Moses really a person? Yeah, but Moses' main, Moses' main purpose is a system. Moses is the kingdom of heaven system. Abraham is not just a man, Abraham is a blessing department in the glory. The word says that 
The blessing of Abraham has come upon you when you receive Jesus in, in Galatians 3, 13 and 14. So the blessing of Abraham in verse 14, because verse 13 said Christ has redeemed you from the curse. So Abraham is really the after effect of the curse being removed and now the blessing being invoked. So, so Abraham is really a dispensation of the riches of the Lord, the wealth of God, the health of God. Because saints, Abraham got married again. So that means that all his parts was working. His heart was good. His health was good because he was able to take on another woman and have a whole busload of other children. So Abraham was walking in the divinity of bodily health. Abraham understood exercising. Le casorre kipas. So riga basorri kibandos. Se reze dizarahazos. Jeremandos. So when I'm talking about exercising, it is a it is a facility in the blessing of Abraham. So Saints Moses was a system just like Pharaoh was a system. So the thousandfold blessing came in the dispensation of the Mosaic system. When Moses showed up, then God started talking about the thousandfold. Whoa, whoa. So saints, the prophet of God is governing your hundredfold and thousandfold place of provisional miracles and provisional manifestation and multiplication. So since the fact that your prophet is in your life, you know that you are already in the jurisdiction of Jubilee. You're in the jurisdiction of the gospel of Jesus. You're in the district of financial deliverance because the appearance of the prophet is the appearance of prosperity. And so all you got to do is know what is the system in which I'm supposed to respond to the prophet. Your prophet is placed in your life as an opportunity of honor. You don't have to do it. It's an opportunity. So your prophet is a money door. Oh, my Rantos. Your prophet is a money door. Your spirit knows it. Your flesh hates it. But when you, remember what I've been teaching you. When you live strong in the spirit and you enter into the depths of the spirit, you could train your flesh to love it like your spirit does. Saints, when you immerse your soul in meditation of God's word, you could train your flesh to love the things of the spirit. David was able to get his flesh to love the things of the spirit because he immersed his soul in the word of God. That's why in Psalm 119, look at the whole Psalm 119. He's talking about how he loved the law of the Lord. He loved God's word. Why do you think that he's going in and talking so strong on that? Because he's operating in the, the, the grace of, of immersing and soaking his soul in divine truth. And while he's doing this, look at how his soul is now sending signals to his body to worship God. Saints, that's the secret of denying yourself. Once you deny yourself, you retrain your body back into its divinity, back into the Godhead. Now the Father and Son and the Holy Ghost is governing your physical body. So even the signals in your body is in the radar of the kingdom of God. Ah, rah, 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 rah. See, 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 see. Money cometh. 
carry sound waves for money angels. When you decree money cometh to me now, money cometh. When you speak that, money angels are on the sound waves. Saints, even, I remember when I, even I was broke financially. When I decreed money cometh, all type of ideas came to me and I had strength to work. I had strength to produce. Saints, the shocking thing in which I realized is when I called money coming, there was times where I was without any money or any provision of any kind, any help of any kind. And money cometh unlocked my soul into a place of the schedule of the spirit. So I found myself going places, applying places, uh, connecting places. And there was a genius that was, there was a reservoir of intelligence that my mind started receiving. Saints, your mouth, when you decree something, you have just positioned yourself to receive all type of information from God about what you just decreed. Wow. So if you say, money cometh to me right now, As soon as you say that, you have just opened up your soul to a portal where God teaches you how to profit. You have just opened up. So saints, when I came into the knowledge of the seed principle, that was in the reservoir of the intelligence of money cometh. If I'm going to walk in this money, I have to be a steward of this money and the Holy Ghost got to be the one being able to tell me what to do with money. So saints, I want you to catch this. S strong sowing, intense sowing, bountiful sowing didn't come out of, I ain't got nothing to do. So let me try this out. It came out of a decree that I spoke and now I opened up my soul to this reservoir of the mystery of God. So God was now telling me what is the behaviors for the blessing. I'm speaking some hot words on here. Thank you, Father. It is the spirit of the Father that's speaking in me. So then the Lord started showing me all of the conduct for cash. My daughter, Carrie, she um she she told me she'd been listening to my teaching and her boss pays for her lunch. Now mind you, she pays for my lunch. God got the boss paying for her lunch. You're not hearing me. And then the chief boss that's over the boss paid for her lunch. Somebody gave her a hundred dollars out of nowhere. She experiencing money moving from every direction. That even the people that's over her is investing more money into her because she followed the conduct for cash. My daughter, Malisha, Jose de Quizas, won awards at her workplace for the bestseller. Her workplace honors her because she follows my laws for the conduct for cash. They respect her. They like her. They want her. They depend on her. They lean on her intelligence. My, and, and, and guess what? She, she win awards at her workplace. I believe she was the one that told me that they offered to pay for her or, 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 or to sponsor her as something that whatever she needed, they, they would give her. Because she got favor with God and with men. But my Alicia sows into me. She buys me gifts. She blesses me. She gives me all type of incentives. 
say it's a couple of years ago, guess what? I bought I bought a car from a dealership, and guess 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 what happened? My Alicia was 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 over that dealership. She was over there in that dealership. Think about it. I'm telling you, Holy Ghost. And she got so much financial favor moving towards her in every direction. One of my daughters told me I'm not even on food stamp no more. Because the money moving. And I remember that place when I got off food stamp because I had started making so much money. I I, I was in a conversation. The Lord was like, let, let's, let's not even apply again. It was about to give me that 500 plus dollars. But I didn't need it. I didn't even need to fake out the system. I didn't need to do none of that. I didn't need to do none of that. Just honesty. Just I didn't even need it no more. Now, saints, I'm not, that's not always the instruction for everybody. I'm just telling you. I'm just giving you a, 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 a little portrait of the harvest Holy Ghost. Wow, 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 wow. Ah, ah, ah. I'm talking about the harvest Holy Ghost. The harvest Holy Ghost, when he get ready to give you a, a, a glimpse of his financial grace, nobody could stop him. When he ready to give you a glimpse of his ability to prosper you, nobody could stop him. When he ready to give you a glimpse of his financial power, nobody could stop him. Saints, don't let the devil stop you from entering into this place. Let God show you how to profit, how to prosper, how to live big, live unstoppable. Don't let the devil hold you and stop you and block you and make you a slave in the Babylonian system. Come out. Let the harvest Holy Ghost show up, show out. Let him manifest himself. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Let the Holy Ghost show you the mystery of money coming. Let him show you supernatural money. Let him show you abundant life. Let him show you prosperity. If you believe your prophet, let him show you. The father's good pleasure is to give you the kingdom. There is a river. There is a havila, Genesis chapter 2, where the gold is fine, it's good. Don't let the enemy stop you. Fear is a seed tarnishing spirit. It's a harvest discrediting spirit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm giving y'all a lot of notes on here. Fear is a harvest discrediting spirit. The harvest Holy Ghost ain't got to connect with Satan to get permission to make you rich. Oh my. The harvest Holy Ghost will bypass all levels of your current income. Bypass all levels of your current salary and bring you into this world of money angels, prosperity angels, financial angels. Don't allow fear to hinder you from sowing and reaping. I sowed in a famine and I came out on top. Prophet Joshua Holmes. Some of y'all missed it. If I'm sleeping inside of my car, I'm in a famine. If I end up having to sow my last four dollars, I'm in a famine. You missed it. Isaac, not the only one that received a hundredfold in the same year. Oh, shara karat. Arokoses. That means that the harvest Holy Ghost don't need time to bring you 
into your money dominion. The Holy Ghost just need your time. The time for you to purpose in your heart to give. The, the time for you to not be afraid to solve problems for somebody that needs your expertise. The Holy Ghost just needs your time. The Holy Ghost got all the time in his hands to make you rich, to make you wealthy, to cancel your debts. The Holy Ghost. I sold in a famine and I came out on top. You can't say, oh, prophet, well, you knew this person. You knew this person now because everybody that I did know, the Holy Ghost had me sanctify myself, change my phone number and cancel out the relationship I had with them. So I was all by myself. I sold solo and I unlocked bountifulness. See, the seed sowing principle is not a respect of person. The harvesting system is not a respect of person. God don't look at one person and say, I really don't like you, so you ain't going to get no harvest. I really don't like you, so your seed ain't going to work for you. God is not a respect of person. Whosoever will, let them come. When you trust in God's system, you will not be ashamed. When you name your seed, you are releasing a verdict to the earth realm. Saints, you got to stop looking at your seed as always that you just lifting it up. Sometimes you pitting it down. You say, prophet, what do you mean? You sowing from the glory. Sometimes you got to look at your sowing like this is me sowing out of the power of God, out of the provisional ability of God, out of the all grace of God, out of great grace, out of the blessing of Abraham. I'm sowing out of it. Some of y'all haven't recognized you're not even sowing for the blessing of the Lord no more. You sowing from the blessing of the Lord. You are already sowing out of your richest place. See, when Isaac was in that place of a famine, when he started sowing, he stepped into the place of the hundredfold. So he was sowing out of the hundredfold. So every seed that left him was the hundredfold being manifested, the hundredfold being demonstrated, the hundredfold dispensation sitting on his situation. Isaac was not sowing for the harvest. He was sowing out of the harvest. His soul was living in the heavenly places where the harvest was abiding. So saints, remember, your soul gathers the events where it dwells. So the soul was dwelling in the hundredfold. So it gathered the events of the hundredfold. So when the hundredfold showed up to Isaac, he was just seeing a mirror because that's where his soul was. His soul was already in the provisional power of the spirit. His soul was already with Jehovah Jireh. His soul was already with the blessing of Abraham. So it showed up as his soul was dwelling in it. That's why the Bible say that I wish above all things that you prosper. Be in health, even as your soul prospers. So your soul got to be in that new body part before the new body part show up. Your soul got to have trust, confidence in God of his creative miracles. Your soul got to be with the wealth, glory of God before you can live in wealth. You have to understand his ability here. The wealth gates got to be a reality to you. Money cometh got to be a reality to you. The harvest Holy Ghost got to be a reality to you. John chapter 21. So Jesus rises from the dead and start working provisional miracles. I want to leave you with this. 
the provision of Jesus after the re resurrection is way more powerful. See, you got to understand the provision of Jesus before the resurrection, multiply five loaves and two fish, fed the 4,000, fed the 5,000, did financial miracles, went around doing good, Acts chapter 10, verse 38. But the provision of Jesus after the resurrection is way more powerful. You got the provision of Jesus. The provision of Jesus after the resurrection got greater works to show you in his harvest ability. In his harvest, Holy Ghost. He come to do more signs and wonders. This is the post-resurrection Jesus. Saints, and then we got the provision of Jesus after the resurrection. But saints, now we living in the Jesus after the ascension. Resurrection and ascension are two different things. Resurrection means he came from the dead. Ascension means that he came from the earth. Resurrection means he came from death. Ascension means that he came from life. When you resurrect, that means that this is your first appearance from death. When you ascend, it means that this is your first appearance from life. He going from glory to glory. So if you understand the dispensation of Jesus right now, the provisional power is in ascension mode. Money cometh is in ascension mode. Wealth is in ascension mode. Health is in ascension mode. Prosperity is in ascension mode. Abundance is in ascension mode. Harvest is in ascension. Ah! Money come to me now. That's in ascension mode. Money come to me now. That's in ascension mode. Money. Coming to me now that's in ascension mode. Somebody shout glory, shout glory, shout glory, shout glory, shout glory. That's in ascension. 